Well, good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to the channel. Today should be a quick and dirty video. Uh, we're doing a front splitter install on the C5Z in this large box here, if you can see it. I've never done a splitter on a C5 Corvette before, so I'm going in blind, kind of raw dogging this. Uh, I'm assuming there's hardware in it. If not, we'll run in the store and get some hardware. Got some self-tapping screws. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out together. So i got to move this guy out, move the C5Z in. We'll do a little open box, and I'll give you two awesome cold starts as a bonus. So let me shut up, roll the intro, and we'll get into it. cheapest one it's a polyurethane it's not painted it's not carbon i think it was like 180. the reason being i can wrap it myself it's some sort of carbon fiber wrap it's probably a piece that's gonna get broken pretty quickly so when it holds up for a while i'll go pretty crazy with a cool wrap paint job but for now i just want to see how it does oh and also there's a lot of debates on whether or not these things will make your C5 overheat. I got one with a vent built in that scoops air right into the radiator. Some do not. But just to make sure, at the end of this video, we'll go for a ride and make sure the temps stay where they're supposed to. This box is very light. It almost feels empty. And of course, where to get this if you're curious will be in the description below. It's really in there. Oh, there's some hardware. Oh, it comes with adhesive. I did not expect that. And it's like just screws. Just regular automotive panel screws. So honestly, for the cost, I'm shocked when it came with hardware. I found out right into the store. Okay, this thing is very light. Very light, which is pretty cool. Will this be functional? I don't know. Probably not. This is more of an aesthetic deal for me to match the rest of the stuff on the car. I don't really track a damn thing, you know me, it's just, my car's a cruiser, I like the way it looks. That's pretty much what I expected, as far as quality and finish. It's got a little more machine on it than I thought it would, which is fine. But yeah, but that's what you get right there. This thing maybe weighs a pound and a half, two pounds. It's, it's always hard when things are larger because it disperses the weight, but um, yeah, so we'll see how these, these holes line up. I'm pretty sure with this, I can get rid of both sides of my, my little air dam scoops and my middle little flapper deal. So, but we'll get to that momentarily. No cracks or anything. It looks pretty good. And I hope it gives the, uh, the C5 a really good aesthetic. I am a little nervous about putting this on and taking it off my, um, my race ramps. They got a really good like, slope to them, but you never know. All right, let's go under the C5 and start taking stuff apart. All right, under the car here, this is the driver's side. So all I'm going to be doing is taking off. So this guy right there is the one on each side. And then all the correlating 7 millimeter little screws. Two, three, four, it looks like. This will come off. And then there's 10 millimeters for this air dam right here. If you can see it, there's four tens. One right there, two in the middle, and then one over there. This guy will come off. And the same thing over there. So that's what I'm going to do right now, just so you know what I'm doing. Very simple. And then we'll see how the new air dam lines up. All right, all that stuff's off. So I'm thinking because the, the lip's going to fit more up here towards the front, not back here. So I'm assuming those screws, once you get it in place with the adhesive, they want you just to self-tap it. If I need to, I'll get some nuts from behind it. Um, I think some of these, though, will match up with it, how it is. It's hard to see. I know. I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, so we'll go grab it, see how it lines up. It rained all night, so I got to drive this guy off. Some alcohol, get it all nice and clean. And then uh, we'll go from there. All right, I think I got this figured out here. So everything off. Um, this one middle screw right there is kind of key because this lines up and the two most outer ones line up with the splitter. I think the idea is you want to put the adhesive on the splitter, put this guy up here, 
and this guy right there, it's hard to see, but that one right there in the middle lines up right there, and the outside ones line up, boom, right there. So what I'm going to do is clean this up really good, dry it off, put the tape on this guy, I'll stick it up here, I'll put the three screws that fit the uh, actual manufacturer uh, lower bumper, and then we'll just self-tap the rest of them. And if I need to, I'll go in from the top and put a, um, a nut on them. I think we're going to be okay. That with the adhesive and the other few screws. And then we're going to put the middle part, this guy, back on behind it. And I think we're going to be square. All right, this is how much tape to give you. I put it just here on the outside. The inside will be pretty secure. And I'll take the backing off now and we'll stick it. And then I'll show you exactly where I'm going to start screwing. All right, so what I did, I got the one screw in right there in the middle very little adhesive touching so i'm gonna make sure all the, the adhesive is good and press it up on the outside and then i'll start doing screws all right she's on there i actually ended up putting all the uh little bits back on just because i mean they're my garage where the lots of damn things and no harm in putting it back on so let's take this thing for a ride see if it overheats and take some cool photos out in the sunlight first impressions back down the driveway that looks really slick. It's very low, a little concerning. Uh, it definitely accents my back little spoiler very well, but I do like that. It looks very mean and very aggressive. So hopefully I can back out of my driveway. There's a little bit of a steep there. I will be going at a very extreme angle and then we'll go for a drive and uh, make sure we don't overheat. <laughs> here today but uh i'm gonna drive around a little bit and i'll report back normally cruising temperatures is about 210 212 um if it's any higher than that i'll let you know and i'll advise not to get this so i'll be back in like 30 minutes but it'll be two seconds for you back home so did about an eight mile cruise on the highway the temperatures were no different than any other time uh, of course i'll keep you posted if that changes but so far so good loving the look of it that's a cool stance right there that should be the thumbnail i think but um yeah that's all i got for today guys like i said this weekend the corvette event here in norfolk feel free to come out it'll be a good time and i'll have a full video on the whole corvette event show whatever we call it probably by sunday or monday should be hundreds of corvettes last year i went there wasn't another um c5z so i'm curious if i'll see one this year all right guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this and i'll catch you guys next time mark out